Dodgers. For anyone who's new to my channel, welcome. I am Ivy of Ivy Davenport. My channel is all about makeup, style, and confidence for the everyday woman. As you can see, today's look is a super green monochromatic look for St. Patrick's Day. So don't be green with envy, girl. You can get this look too. Keep watching. Priming my lids with Lay and Low by MAC. I'm using the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush to buff it in. So I'm gonna use something different to set my eyes with this time. I'm gonna use the new Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder and I'm using the shade Brown. I do have the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I really love it, it's amazing. Everybody knows it's amazing, but I really wanted to try the Beauty Bakery formula. I wanted to try a brown setting powder. Laura Mercier does have one in medium deep, which I have not tried, but I will do a comparison video at a later date of the Laura Mercier versus the Beauty Bakery powder. Okay, now to start the fun stuff. So I'm going to try my first ever cut crease on camera. Wish me luck. Starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Makeup by Mario Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm starting off with the shade Lula. I'm gonna start by just placing that shade in the crease. I'm gonna flick it out just a tad. I want this to be a little bit of a dramatic look. So I'm going back and forth between two palettes this time. I'm using also the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. And I'm going to take this brown shade right here, and put that over top of the first shade. And don't worry if you get this on your lid because we are going to clean it up later. Back into the Mario palette, I'm gonna take the shade Violetta on this flat brush. And you can use an ankle brush, you can use a bullet brush, but this is what I feel comfortable with, cutting the grease. Here we go. So for this color, you wanna bring it right in your crease. So let's see where your crease starts. And start stamping the color in that area. This is just going to give me my outline of where to cut my crease. I'm now taking my favorite bullet brush, which is my NAC 219. I'm dipping back into that brown shade, Violetta. And now I'm going to just shade over where we drew our line and really deepen the crease. Invincible. And even the crease more, I'm going to take this black shade from the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette and just go right over that line. Just going to go over all this and blend it out. This look you just want to blend, 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 but make sure when you're blending you're not bringing the shadow any further down. Just use this clean blending brush to just go over all of it now. Okay, now to actually cut the crease, I'm going back into the MAC base on this flat brush from ColourPop. I'm gonna put it all over my lid. You wanna make sure you bring it, I'm gonna make sure you keep that line sharp as possible. Since this is a St. Patrick's Day look, I'll use this green, beautiful emerald green shade from the Captain Lux palette. For liner, I'm going in with the Tarte Precision Wear Liner. So I wanted to make this look a little bit fun and festive because it is a holiday. I'm going to use the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Midnight Cowboy. It's beautiful. And I'm going to put this 
in the crease. your eye open just for a little while because it is wet. Lashes, I've decided to stack them. I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies and the Ardell Fomique Lashes in 811. All you do to double stack is you just put one on top of the other, squeeze them with your tweezers, add your glue to the strip, and pop them on. To blend my real lashes to my fakes, I'm using the Maybelline Big Shot. We'll come back to eyes in a few minutes. I am not going anywhere, so I'm not going to prime my face, but I am going to just move on with foundation pen and all of that great stuff. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Dewy Smooth in 355 Coconut. And with this foundation, I just like to take a foundation brush, pretty much smear it all over my face. I'm going to take my Beauty Sponge. This is by Morphe. Really love this one and blend it all out. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear. My shade is NW40. First, I'm going to use this concealer brush to put it where I need it. For powder, I'm going to use start off with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder right underneath my eyes. And I'm not baking, so I am shaking off the excess. You tap it right here. And now I'm taking the Beauty Bakery Brown Flower Powder to set the rest of my face. This could almost be used as a bronzer, just to add a little bit of warmth to the face. I like this powder. Hmm. I Davenport approved. Contour today, I'm switching it up and using the Black Radiance palette. I use the shade Medium to Dark. Starting off with the Sculpt shade and a touch of the contour shade, I'm going to contour my nose. Invincible. It's blended out. I'm going back in with my blending sponge. To chill out my cheekbones, I'm going into the contour shade. For highlight, I'm using Wet n Wild's Crown of Canopy. So put a little bit on my nose, down the bridge, and on the cupid's bow, going back into eyes. Smoke out the bottom lash line, I'm going to use the shade Violetta. <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of the black shade from the Kathleen Lights palette, pretty much on the outer third of my lid to give it more of the cat eye effect. And you already know the drill, priming my bottom lashes with the L'Oreal Lash Primer. And now coating my bottom lashes with the Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline to make this look pop even more because it's a holiday, it's festive, why not? I'm going into the Kat Von D Alchemist palette using the shade Emerald, which is a pretty duo chromy green. I'm going to place it in my outer corner. I'm going to do a little bit underneath my brow bone. Take a little bit of that green and put it over my cheek highlights. Last things last, I'm using the Color Rain Liquid Lipstick in Ivy. using the NYX Dewy Smooth. Eyecasters, this is the final look for this fun, festive, green, monochromatic look for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you all have a safe, fun holiday. Make sure to subscribe to my channel below. Give this video a thumbs up if you loved it because I hope you did and I'll see you in my next tutorial. 